Wow, what a game. <laughs> you know, that was, uh, you know, two really good teams getting after each other, you know, wire to wire. And, uh, you know, I thought LSU played outstanding. I, I thought our guys played really, really good. You know, we just didn't give in. There was a point in that game where, you know, we kind of could have tucked our tails a little bit there and just shut that thing down. But, you know, this time of year, you just got to keep playing. And I've said that about this team all year, that they never quit. You know, they never quit. As many games, I don't, I don't know what our record is, but how many games we've played, you know, there's never been one time that I felt like this team has shut it down. And, you know, when you have that character, that's characteristic, it can go a long way for you. And I, I really appreciate it as a head coach. Caleb, why don't we go to you on uh, big game time single there in the eighth. Talk about that at bat, please. Uh, yeah, going into it when they um, made the pitching change, uh, Casey Grayson was up. So we knew at that point that he was going to try and sack him over. And, uh, you know, he really grinded out in that bat, um, you know, tough, put the ball in play with, with two strikes and ended up advancing the guys. So, uh, you know, they brought the right hander in. I just knew that um, I had to stay short, you know, really shut, um, compact my swing down and uh, was able to get a fastball up in the zone and, and drive it up the middle. Chase, we'll go to you next. Obviously, question. Great job and relief. Talk about that outing, please. Uh, well, tonight I was kind of expecting for anything. Um, we were kind of backed in the corner, playing for one game. Um, I was I was ready for anything, and when my number got called, um, I just tried to do my job. I knew knew my teammates were going to back me up uh, 100%. So all I had to do was come in and do my job, and that was to throw strikes and pound the zone. Kyle, three hit night for you, including the game winning RBI there in the in the eleventh. Talk about that at bat, please. Um, the at bat before he had been working me mainly away, and uh, you know I went with the same approach. You know, hit the ball uh, opposite field, and I was able to get enough bat on the ball and uh, shoot it down the left field. Okay, we're going to take questions for everyone. Please raise your hand. Big knowledge back there in the back center. Oh, go ahead, yes. Yeah. Yeah, um, you know, you get to this time of the year, and these are the games that you enjoy playing in. And, and today we knew that, that our season was on the line. So, uh, you know, we come out tomorrow, and we'll expect a really tough fight with LSU. That's a, that's a really good team, and uh, we're really excited to be back at it tomorrow. Chase? Uh, like Caleb said, I mean, it, it's going to be a tough one. I mean, no no game at this time is really easy. Uh, we know both teams just – they want it just that bad. and. Uh, tonight we, we showed it we're, we're relentless and we really we really want this. Kyle, um, I'm gonna go with everything they just said. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right here in the front, Ron. Kyle, when you tied it four four, did you feel like momentum from the stretch, like you know, you could feel the stadium got quiet, and then you know you got that momentum going up the hill? Yeah, definitely. I think uh, I think tying it up uh, with Barker's. Two RBI single, I think that was huge for us, um, um, especially that late in the game and uh, with the momentum, with the momentum uh, in their favor, I guess, in the uh, bottom half of the last inning. I think that was really big for us to come back and uh, get four right there. Good. Right next. Uh, no comment. <laughs> I mean, I thought it, I thought it was a momentum changer. You know, obviously, you know, we we felt that that it was lodged, and you know, we went through the protest process, got denied. But you know, now looking back on that thing, that kind of that kind of jump us a little bit. You know, we come right back and respond after that. So, you know, it is what it is, and it, that that thing ended up working in our favor. Over here. Coach, playing a fifth game now in four days, just your pitching staff overall. How do you see them? Their status? Who might start? Well, we still got plenty. We still got a lot down there, you know. And we got some. We have a few guys that can come back. You know, we could uh, we could throw Johnny Holstaff tomorrow. <laughs> you know, it might be one of those. But you know, we've still got some bullets in there. And there, there's some guys that are, haven't pitched yet that that'll get an opportunity. And and we, like I said, we've got some guys we can recycle back through. Scott. No, you, you declare it then. There's a protest committee on site, and they, and they make their decision immediately. You know, there are a couple of the umpires and the protest committee, they get together, and that's what the delay was, is they were back in the back discussing that thing. So it, it was all handled great. I believe so. Um, I think this is a lot about our team, and uh, like Coach said, I think the entire season I can't remember us, you know, giving up during a game, and uh, 
I think it just says a lot about how we keep fighting and we're not I mean we're not gonna stop playing and um getting four right there, especially after what happened, I mean, right before our bat, that's that's huge and I think that just kinda tells you what kind of team we are. We'll take one or two more if we have them. If not, okay, got it. Oh, one more. Um, I, I, yeah, I don't know how many innings we played today, but it was something like that. But, uh, you know, my team needs me behind the plate, and uh, that's, that's my job to be back there for them.